Hi. It's Monday, it's afternoon, so I've got a Coke. It's, uh, it's, it's time to answer some questions. This time I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to go on Yahoo Answers again, obviously. But I'm, I'm just going to do quick fire ones. I'm not going to, I'm not going to look at them beforehand. I'm just going to look. So first, first question. Can you tell me something you like and don't like about game consoles? Any gum game console you have or tried? Thanks. I love the quality of grammar that you that you find on this website. It's it's top notch. So something I like and don't like about game consoles. <coughs> um, I'm looking at my PS3 to figure out, see if it tells me what I don't like about it. Um, something I don't like is uh, platform exclusive content like imagine if you could play journey on a pc look think how good that would be that would be good uh something i do like i like it's that it's simple like when you when you put a game into a pc and it doesn't work that hasn't happened for a while for me um but all manner of things could be wrong with the system, whereas with a game console, you're like, oh well, it's broken. There's not much I can do about it. I just better send it off, or the games, the the disc is scratched or something. Those are the things I like and don't don't like. Um, are you looking for for awesome strategy game? And here's an advert for a, a strategy game that I'm not going to tell you about. Um, hey, I have a strange thing to say. Full stop. Question mark. Okay, so I was playing Black Ops 2 Zombies on town, and then we got to round 20. Then a max ammo popped out of a zombie, so I dived and got it. The other guy I was playing with shouted, Oh my asterisks god, why the didn't you let me reload? And I said, sorry man, and then I asterisks you not. These I'm not censoring this, this is actually what he's written. He started crying. <laughs> yes, he cried for at least five minutes down the mic, like properly screaming and crying. Over not being able to reload when he got to max ammo. What the asterisk man, what do you guys think? You are playing Black Ops 2 Zombies. And are therefore playing with five-year-olds. Next question. What do you think is Ubisoft's best game franchise? Um, I guess it's got to be Assassin's Creed. Really. Actually, if you're talking about... Depends if you're talking about developer or publisher, because obviously everyone knows that the best Ubisoft game is Trackmania 2. Speaking of, I need to get into that beta for um, Stadium. I'll do that later. How much is this worth? I'm thinking about selling my 160GB PS3 Slim, plus 26 games and a wireless headset, all of which has been used. I'd... What? Why are you asking on here? Just take, just take it in, just take it in and say, hey, can I get this? Can or put it on eBay and be like, hey, bid on this. You don't need to ask how much things go. Um, can anyone help me out? One hour. Well, a few hours ago, my mum and and I and what? Okay, we're yelling at each other, and then there was a loud bang that made me jump. But later, my dad came in. And told me that he had just dropped his bowling ball. He said my mum had to leave, but to make it up to me, my dad is taking me on vacation to Mexico. So is Mexico nice? He said we are living in an hour, leaving in an hour, and might be there a really long time. So what should I pack? Well, obviously, if you know your dad likes bowling, so maybe you should you should take up bowling too. Um. You know, your your mum might not be around for a while, so something that reminds you of her, maybe. So maybe. <coughs> um, let's let's skip a couple of these because I don't. I've never even heard of that game, Wolf Quest, two point five. What? Um, need an RPG? Seriously bored ATM. I really need suggestions for incredible RPGs that will consume my time. I'm looking for a game with deep characters that I'll attach emotionally to. I love Mass Effect, Dragon Age, got halfway through Final Fantasy X. 
before going on holiday and never going back to it. Um, well, play, you could play Final Fantasy X again. That's a pretty good game. People say that Final Fantasy VII is the best thing ever, and I don't. I don't believe them. I'm pretty sure I'd rather play Final Fantasy X or even Final Fantasy X two more than I would like to play Final Fantasy VII. Um, the Witcher and The Witcher 2 are both very good RPGs which have deep characters that you will attach emotionally to. <coughs> um, and it's, it's, a lot, it's a lot more adult than most RPGs around. Um, or oh, additional details, I've played Skyrim. He also plays WoW regularly. Guild Wars 2 bored me. And uh, uh, Star Wars MMO got boring also. Yeah, so The Witcher 2, uh, play Final Fantasy X. Those are my recommendations. Um, <clears throat> next page. That's the same question. What? Okay. List what type of game that are good to play. Name some games that are good to play on Xbox, PS3, and PC. Um, wow, that's a that's a fairly open ended. Let's see what people have answered. First guy says Borderlands on Xbox, PC, StarCraft Two. It hasn't given a PS3 game. Play Journey on the PS3. Also play um, The Walking Dead on any console of your choice. This guy gives a lot of PC games. Starcraft, Diablo, Minecraft, Terraria. Um, yep, Skyrim, yes, indeed. Mass Effect 3, Mass Effect... Yep, League of Legends, yes. See, pe pe you don't need me to answer that. People people got your back, people got your back. Next-gen console or PC? This is a long one. Let's see if I can paraphrase. I've recently become very sceptical. It's about wrong about whether I want to purchase a next-gen console later this year or stick with my PC. Uh, blah blah blah. Something about graphics. I want to play PC-only games because uh, blah blah blah. Something fanboy about stuff. Um, if you've got the money for it, why don't you just go with both? Like, you've got... Okay, you've got a PC. Three months ago, you switched to PC gaming. So for the next, presumably, for the next couple of years, your PC is going to be able to run new games well. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just a case of whether you have the money for it. Um, you can't really make a decision between PS4 and Xbox, whatever that new one will be at the moment, because we don't know what the new Xbox will be at the moment. But you can, you can assume that they're going to be pretty similar. <clears throat> Uh, blah blah blah. Good games like Heyday. I got a new iPad for Christmas, and I'm wondering if there are any good games like Heyday. I don't know what Heyday mean it is on the iPad, but I do know that a good iPad game is um, The Room. Is it called The Room? I think it's called The Room. It's like a puzzle game. You get no, no. It's is it called The Room? It must be. And there's like a box, and you've got to figure out ways of getting into the box. And then when you get inside, there's more puzzles, and you've got to get further in. Um, so, play that. And it's like really cheap. Free downloadable game for PC. I accidentally clicked off the question, so I don't know what the rest of the question was. But a good free downloadable game for PC is League of Legends. You should play that. Sim City 2013 always online. Hi there, there is a, this is a question related to the new SimCity game. I saw that it has a constant connection to Origin which doesn't bother me, but what I'd like to know is how it works if, for example, there is an internet problem at my house, or there is a service issue, um, yeah, I, yeah, from what I understand, you need to be connected to the internet to play SimCity. So that's bad if your internet does indeed go down. Um, 
but then if it does, you can you just 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 play something else. Play SimCity 2000. Sorry. City. No. This is a question about headsets. That's not about games. Da 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 da. Give with best Skyrim DLC to get. I haven't played any of the Skyrim DLC. I. Skyrim was enough Skyrim for me. I played it for about. Let's see how long I played it. Let's see. Go on Steam. Elder Scrolls Five Skyrim. Seventy four hours I played Skyrim Four, and that's that was enough for me. But I think, and it seems like these. Oh no. Well, yeah. You've got a few people below saying that Dragonborn is the best one, and one guy saying that Dawn Guard is the best one. So let's go with the majority. Let's go with let's go with Dragonborn. I don't know what's in it. Maybe you get to play as the Dragonborn, even though you already are. Um What is the background song called in Saints Row Three? Uh I uh, uh, are you talking about power by Kanye? I don't know. Or the menu. The menu music's pretty damn good in that game. I don't know what that's called, though. Can you answer these questions about Far Cry 3? He has eight in total. I just ordered Far Cry 3 and wanted to know some things about it before I get it. One, how many guns can you hold at one time? You can unlock gun slots by doing the hunting side. Well, yeah, just going, going hunting and crafting extra weapon slings but the maximum you can hold is four what type of guns can you hold um, it's a, it's an FPS game the FPS types and a bow um, and a flamethrower are any of the missions scary and creepy I like playing in the dark and playing scary and creepy missions not really there are some bits where you're like on drugs and you're hallucinating. Actually, no, there is one bit that you could con consider to be scary where you're fighting a giant ink monster in some sort of dream. Um, but I won't spoil it further. Are any of the missions difficult? Sure. You can turn the difficulty up if you want the difficulty to be harder, or you can turn it down if you want it to be easier. How many missions are there? Oh, I don't know. Um... I no, I, I yeah, I I don't have you play up, so I don't know how long I played it for. It's a pretty decent length though. Um, just like the F Far Cry Two. Once you think you finish the game, there's a, quite a bit more afterwards. But it's unlike Far Cry Two. I actually wanted to keep playing Far Cry Three after I had finished the first island bit, so. Um, is it difficult to platinum? I don't know. Played on PC. What is the total playthroughs needed? I don't. That's the same question. Total playing time needed for the story. Stop asking the same question. I don't know. Okay. Um. Assassin's Creed Black Flag on next gen consoles. I just saw the new trailer and it looks awesome, but it said coming on the next gen consoles, which confused me a lot. Firstly, will the PS3 and Xbox version be different than the X? Secondly, it's available on 29th of October. So if it says also on next-gen consoles, then they must be releasing before then. Am I right? No. You can release a game on the 29th of October and then release it again for the next-gen consoles when they come out. You might be right, but I'm maybe could be. Um. The PS3 and Xbox, <laughs> Xbox 30, Xbox 3, 360 version will be will not be different than the next gen ones. Other than they won't look as good. You have to assume that Ubisoft is developing Black Flag for the next gen hardware, um, rather than the other way around. So. Um, 